night office chic. We're showing you how to step up your style. You can create your own shoes. So Dory Howard of Milk and Honey is here to show us how we can make our very own luxury shoes. So let's talk about this concept first and how you came up with it. Obviously, every woman goes through the the stores and the shops, and sometimes you just never find what you're looking for. That's exactly how the company got started. My sister and I started the company together two years ago, and I was standing in the Saks department in New York City. A shoe department that has its very own zip code, and I couldn't find what I was looking for. And I've always known I was a little high maintenance, but at that moment I realized if I can't find what I'm looking for, women everywhere must not be able to find what they're looking for. So we created Milk and Honey to fill that void. Right. So shopping online is so amazing too. It's what all the women are doing nowadays, and you don't even have to go out to the store. And now you can design your own shoes online. So let's talk about the website and how you kind of navigate and go through it and create your own shoes. Sure. So it's super super easy. Milk and Honey Shoes dot com. Click on the Design Now button, and it'll take you to a landing page where you can choose the silhouette of the shoe you'd like. So I'm going to design a pump for you, and it ah. starts with a nice silhouette. So you can click through different colors, the pink, add embellishments, and then just kind of click through and design the shoe that you want. And you can do all sorts of textures. We have leather, patent, snake skin, pony hair. And just click through the site until you find the exact shoe you want. Oh, you could spend a good part of the afternoon doing this. I it bet it is addicting. <laughs> it is absolutely addicting. Okay, let's talk about some trends since we've seen how the the website works. We've got to get to these shoes over here. These look absolutely amazing. So, what is big right now, and and what are you seeing people making on your website? Sure, the, people are having so much fun. I mean, you can see a pair of loafers we did here. Loafers continue those to be hot really this spring. Really fun. These are adorable. We had a customer make those. They were her sorority colors, so she made those for homecoming. So, loafers are traditionally An office shoe. People tend to think of them as very conservative, and this is a great example as to how you can go crazy with a pair of loafers. I was like, "Look at my shoes." <laughs> There's nothing wrong with conservative, conservative loafers. You're at the office. <laughs> But you could also design a pair that ties in the pretty purple from your shirt. Yeah, we talked about going off a of chic, so I'll work on that one. You're gonna help me out. So, okay, um, animal prints. Those animal are prints big too. Absolutely, animal prints have turned into a classic. They are hot year after year. We have a great example of a leopard print there that's paired with a nude back, which is great for le lengthening your legs. We also have a great pair of zebra over there. Black and white is really chic, and adding zebra just gives an extra pop. Okay, and then bridal trends. Bridal trends. Ever since Sex in the City, brides want blue, 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 blue. We've had fantastic brides do bright blue that's cobalt that's very reminiscent of the shoe that Carrie wore, her Manolo Blahnik on Sex in the City. Brides do like a little bit of bling. We also have those fantastic blue glitter shoes. Those were made for a, for, for a bride in London with a little pop of pink in front. All right, and then when we get to what is color blocking? Color blocking is when you use two colors that don't traditionally go together. This yellow and turquoise shoe is a perfect example of that. All right, and then as we move on, a pop of color, and then the green is the, the kind of the color of the year. Emerald green is the color of the year. You can see in these loafers here. We have a pair of shoes that we matched the green and yellow over here with a pointed toe. And then I want to get to obviously the boots on the end, sort of these exotic. Boots, and then、um, also there's studs. There's kind of a rock and roll theme going on too. Absolutely, and we have a great example of of studded flats. The idea being that flats don't have to be boring. You don't have to be a soccer mom in flats. You can be a little bit rock and roll. You can go to the grocery store and look chic while doing it. So we're really excited about studs in non-traditional ways. Well, I'll tell you about flats. Is if you've got a lot of walking to do, some of these bad boys aren't going to do the trick for Absolutely. you. Absolutely, and that's why the best thing about Milk and Honey, in my opinion, is you can order shoes in any heel height. We start at flat. We go all the way up to five inch heels. So if you're looking for that inch and a half to two and a half inch heels, all our shoes come in those heel heights. All right. And getting back to the leopard prints, I、yes. kind of want to talk to you about your tips on how to pair shoes with your wardrobe and, and that choice, making that choice. Sure. I mean, especially when you brought up leopard, it's traditionally seen as nighttime black dress leopard shoes to be a little, a little hot and sexy. But you can certainly do something with just a touch of leopard, and it's all about how you pair it. So if you do it with jeans and a crisp white button down and a little leopard on the bottom, you can wear that daytime. You can wear that to the office. Okay, and then let's talk about the office. Fun with loafers. What is appropriate at the office and what's not? I, the, here's the thing with office wear. First of all, every office is different, but in general, so definitely take cues from the people around you and take cues from your human resources department. But the height of your heels is directly correlated to the height of what you're wearing on the bottom. So if you're in a short skirt, it's flats. If you're in pants, you can definitely get away with five inch heels at the office. Okay, and then your final do's and don'ts for what would you would recommend when pairing, kind of one of your crazy pairs of shoes with an outfit. I mean, some of these are pretty. 
it, they pop. And so you probably don't want to do something too crazy with patterns if you're going to pick some of these blocking colors or something like that. Right. I would steer clear of mixing too many patterns, but mixing colors is a great way to go. I think the most important things to remember about shoes is they transform your entire outfit. You can be in jeans and a t-shirt and sneakers and go to the grocery store, or you can be in jeans, a t-shirt for the night. You know, shoes are weight agnostic. You gain 10 pounds, you lose 10 pounds, your shoes will still fit you and they'll still be there to support you. <laughs> I like that. So when you're having a bad day, you go shoe shopping. Absolutely. Absolutely. You don't go skirt and pants shopping. You go get shoes. Can we finish up this? Sure. Let's make a high heel on that. Let's do that in high heels. So we're going to click <laughs> out a heel. Chic. And we can just Let's do, do a five inch heel just for giggles because that's the tallest heel. you got. This is what our producer Leslie Marcus would wear in here, I'm pretty sure. And then you can color that <laughs> Right, <heel>. Shelly? <laughs> All right, if you'd like to try out uh, your hand at designing your own shoe, you can go to our website too, fox5sandiego.com. Click on the scene on tab. Dory, thanks so much thanks for being so with much. us this morning. Shelly, I'm going to send it back to you. Okay, so I got a shoe. It's like purple. It's glittery. Glittery. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot. They're about what, like two hundred eighty-five dollars for that? They average at about two fifty, but they start as low as one fifty. And they're comfortable. Absolutely. Oh, Comfort is. Or I want. We gotta bring one on. I want to see if they if they fit well. I like it. I like it. All right. Delight on Fox Five. A big fire is burning in Chicago. Fire.